coming to this uh, here this is my virtual machine vmware where i have installed hadoop and all the big data related uh, components here okay uh, let me just maximize this JPS, uh, it will give the list of all the Java process running in the uh, in the uh, you know in the server in the Linux server. So I have installed all the Hadoop related components in this uh, Linux machine that is called as a virtual machine. Okay. So here I am running HDFS services, the Hadoop services, uh, and from here we shall try to see how to read the data into that particular uh, you know what. Jupyter notebook. Okay, we are trying to access the data from HDFS from here to the Jupyter notebook. Okay, is it fine, guys? First, try to understand where from we are trying to retrieve the data and where from we are doing this stuff. Okay, so before that, let me create a new notebook here. We can yeah, fine. Now let's start a new notebook, and uh, in this, uh, we shall try to uh, write the code. Right, try to see how to read the data from HDFS and uh, write back to it. A new note, notebook is created here. Uh, now let's start coding out from PySpark uh, dot SQL import Spark session and the Spark driver equal to Spark session dot builder dot master it is local. And the app name, mm, some demo app, and get or create. This is the basic, uh, you know, uh, statement to create a Spark driver session. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, after reading this, just let us confirm whether this is getting created or not. Later, we shall start our coding. Okay. Let me run this. Control Enter. We'll run the entire cell. And it is working. Uh, before that, see guys here, we are working in Windows environment. I will I will just write it here. So currently we are running this Jupyter in the Windows. Okay, we are working this Jupyter in Windows, and I have installed Hadoop and HDFS all the stuff in my VMware. Okay, so in VMware I'm, I have installed Ubuntu, the Linux flavor. Okay, so now I am assuming this VMware as somewhere some remote server. Okay, from where we are trying to read the data into. The, our Jupyter notebook environment. You got my point here. So we are trying to access the data from other server, not from the same node, from other server. So in that case, how do we read the data from other server, and how do we read and write? We shall try to see. just understand this. We are writing, we are running Jupyter in Windows, and Hadoop, uh, everything that stuff, related stuff is related in this VMware Ubuntu. Okay. Now, uh, this is where that I'm trying to show this is where I have installed uh, all the services and I'm running only HDFS services here name node data node and secondary name node services okay so in order to have uh, you know uh, what you call as data transfer between these two nodes nodes in the sense here Windows and this Linux okay so we should be able to ping uh, from the two servers right is it it when we want to uh, communicate um, you know uh, create, when we create a network between two servers we must be able to ping between those two okay so then only the data transfer is possible so this is uh, the ip of this node okay this linux server or a vmware uh, the server that is running in vmware okay so from here i must be able to ping to windows and from windows i must be able to ping to this server so this is the IP. You can just have a look at it. 172, 16, 38, 131. So I must be able to ping this from Windows uh, command prompt. Then only I can, uh, you know, read and write the data from it. Okay. 
ping 172.6 string dot 38 dot 131 so we have to get a response otherwise we cannot uh, communicate with that linux machine okay so now it is able to ping now we can read the data from it okay fine so the spark driver is uh, created successfully now we shall open this ui in some other terminal other tab it's fine now we shall start our coding so df underscore hdfs equal to spark driver dot read dot format there is some csv file is there just i will try to read that file directly load so how do we pass the url here that means we are trying to access from that server how do we pass the url that too we are trying to read from hdfs so hdfs is installed in this linux server in vmware now we must we are trying to access that okay so how do we do that okay it's very simple guys so we follow this convention hdfs it has to start with hdfs colon double slash and yeah ip uh, address or host name generally on 8020 okay the name node rpc port number 8020 is called as uh there is rpc port number there's a difference between rpc port number and http port number i will show you after this but remember so this is the path okay now where do we have the data that we have to mention the path also here so this is where uh, my linux machine is so i'm trying to see where do we have the data in this iphone ls root so this is the command okay hdfs command uh, to have allocate the data that is present in the root directory of hdfs this is the root directory okay now here i have one directory called as df data one in that i have some csv file okay so let me have allocated df data one yeah um this is the data okay uh copy this and remember the directory name is df data one or you can copy the, the entire path sorry and uh, you can paste the path here just to paste it okay that's it df data one see this guys this is the root directory entry into the root directory and this is a df data one and this is the path of the file got it so after this just let us see whether the we, go, we are able to read the data or not uh, let's uh, print some sample rows some five rows let's see what happens okay control enter so we must be able to read the data okay let's see what's happening in the background so yeah it is trying to read the data from it yeah we got the data guys here you can see this okay so, you know, we, we are not concentrating on the what is the format and i think it is csv file only but there is a uh, we need to format something we need to add some options but basically what you are finding is we are able to read the data from it that is what we are uh, able to say here okay spark driver read format and load this is what we are going to read is it fine guys 